can take your seats. Oh, we bless the Lord today. We bless the Lord today. The Lord told me to tell somebody that's listening that this is not just another church service. It's according to your faith. Amen. Somebody said you can have it, but you got to reach up and grab it. Amen. We're blessed today. Uh, so thankful to be here today. So thankful to be alive today. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. So thankful that uh, to see my son back in the house, Deacon Taylor. Glory to God. So thankful to see my natural son right there in his beautiful fiance. Glory to God, my son Alex. Oh, man. Glory to God. We're just, we're, we're, just, we're just blessed today. Yes. So thankful to be here. Yesterday I attended, um, what was it? The baby shower. Yeah, we went to the baby shower yesterday. My son and Ebony, they pushing him out. <laughs> Good Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And I think I got 15 soon to be 16 grandkids. So y'all know y'all ain't getting up a card for Christmas, right? I'd have to get a second mortgage on the house. Thank you, Jesus. But we just, we just blessed the Lord today. We got preachers up in the house today. Came back to see us. Oh, come on, let's give the Lord a praise up in this house. Got Sister Talia sitting over there. Boy, I just tell you. But the praise was good. The praise was good. I just got a, I just got a short word uh, for you. And uh, I hope that, uh, that I can get this word over to you. Y'all know something? Y'all know what killed Jesus? Somebody said, what now? <laughs> Unbelief killed him. Think about that. The Lord sends you help. You don't recognize the help. And you end up killing the help that God sent you. The Jews killed Jesus. Glory to God. Now I got news for you. If it would have been Gentiles, they would have done the same thing. Amen. But unbelief kill our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They put him to death. So, why did I say that? Because today is never before. Church cannot be, um, you can't walk in your mother's faith. You can't live off of your father's faith. He has to be your personal God because Trust me, I don't care how much you plan. I don't care how detailed you are, how dedicated you are. The enemy is going to meet you. And there's going to be there's going to be days in your life that no matter how much effort you give, you're not going to be able to. Amen. You're going to have to deal with evil. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. My sons uh, at the baby shower yesterday. My son Alex and Chris pulled me aside and said, Dad, we want to know what's going on with your health. Yeah, we want to know what's going on with your health. Amen. They were jacking me up in the corner. <laughs> wow. You know, I want to just tell them that I'm about to be, I'm less than two years away from being 70 years old. Amen. And when you start to get older, things happen. Certain things just come along with being, we get over, amen? amen? They diagnosed me with uh, type 2 diabetes, which is uh, a killer. But in the midst of all of that, God is blessing. Amen. I just want my sons to know, I just want to, speaking of my son, yes. the other one walking through the door right now. And all of them grandkids. Yeah. Somebody go get a finance company, a bank or something over here for me quick. So I can get a little loan. Amen. 
Amen. But y'all just pray for me today. I think I think I think we're gonna be all right. Um, go over to Matthew chapter twelve just for a moment, and let's look at verse thirty-five. Matthew chapter twelve, verse thirty-five. I want to say to this younger generation, this computerized generation. When I was younger, I used to look at the old folk in the church. When we used to go to church, I used to say to myself, it don't take all of that. Why they got to be all up, all over people crying and shouting? It don't take all of that. As I got older, I understood. When you go through certain things and you know you didn't bring yourself out, you know it was the Lord goodness of God that brought you out. You don't mind throwing your hands up in the air. Glory to God. That night when my group was playing in North Carolina, we went to pick up the check and the guy was robbing the bank, was robbing the hotel and stuck that gun right in my gut and told me to lay down on the floor and he straddled me like this and had the gun over my head like this. And he said, nigga, you got any money? I, I couldn't even tell I thought I was going to die right then. Amen. I heard him. I heard the gun on top of my head. I thought he was going to blow my head off. When I got off that floor, he was gone. I wasn't even saved, but I said, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So experience. You'll end up finding out certain things. Just keep on living. Old folks ain't crazy. Old folks ain't crazy. I want to talk to y'all about not being so busy. Slow down enough to hear God. Come on. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're living in a world today where everybody's pressing mm -hmm. because we understand to, to be successful, you can't be lazy. Amen. You got to work hard in everything you do. You got to be on top of everything. And if you don't watch it, that kind of thinking brings about a kind of stress. Amen. Not trusting God will bring about stress. So I just want to talk to the church today. Just, uh, uh, y'all just pray for me. I'll find a title for the message as we go on. Let me see, let me see can I get over there myself. Glory to God. It's going to be all right today. Yes. We've had some beautiful testimonies up in the house. Yes. Glory to God. Um, I think that's, that may not be what I want. But anyway, I got it in my head. I got it in my head. Y'all yes. remember the story between Mary and, about Mary and Martha. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. They were anointing Jesus' feet up in the house. And everything. And the Bible says one of them was encumbered about. You know what I'm talking about? She was just very, very busy. The other sister came and knelt at Jesus' feet. Glory to God. And Jesus noticed uh, the one who was so busy. Because today we acquaint busyness with success. Yeah. yeah. If I'm going to be successful, I got to work all the time. I got to outthink everybody. You know, I got to have a better plan than everybody. Glory to God. I got to burn the midnight oil. That seems to be the spirit of this day. Yeah. Success has become the new God of the day. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me up in here. Let me say that again. We don't want Jesus, we want success. Huh? Help me, Lord God, because if I can, if I can, if I can have all my bills paid, if I can have money in the bank, drive a nice car, and live in a nice house, I don't need Jesus. I just need success. I need a good job that pays me good money, and all is gonna be well. I got news for you. Millionaires die every day. Did you hear what I just said? Millionaires die every day. 
and they have to leave all of their hard-earned money. Or oh, help me up in here. You know when Jesus was talking to the rich young ruler, <laughs> the rich young ruler asked Jesus, said, said, Lord, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Y'all remember the story? Jesus said, honor thy mother, you know, keep the commandments. Rich young ruler said, just like most of the young folk look at us today, older folk, they, they, they think they're so much smarter than we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rich young ruler said, I've done that from my youth. Okay. So Jesus knew he was wealthy. So Jesus said, okay, I got one more commandment for you. Yeah. Do this right here. Thank 